Hello everyone, I'm Abdullah from Michigan State University and I will be presenting our work in evaluation of task parallel frameworks for sparse solvers on multi-core and many-core CPU architectures. Sparse matrix computations are the core component of many scientific applications in fields ranging from molecular dynamics to nuclear physics. In the presence of large-scale data, they become challenging as they demand massive parallelism but cannot effectively utilize resources. Moreover, challenges of large-scale sparse matrix computations are not well addressed by the bulk synchronous parallel approaches. The two limiting factors of the BSP approaches are first, the poor cache performance due to the tasks not fitting into the last level cache, and the second, high synchronization costs due to the load imbalances. Therefore, a fundamentally new approach is needed which validate the emergence and increase the use of asynchronous many task programming models. OpenMP's task parallelism, which is one of the AMP models, has been used and well studied since 2013 as it allows extracting parallelism via scheduling and asynchronous execution of fine-grained tasks. This model has the potential to remedy both deficiencies of the BSP models. There are other runtime systems that enable fine-grained task parallelism, such as HBX. HBX is an advanced runtime system and a programming API that supports lightweight task scheduling to expose new levels of parallelism. Another runtime system that adopts the AMT model is Regent, a programming language designed for HBC. Regent runtime system discovers implicit data flow parallelism in the code by internally computing the task dependency graph, eliminating the need for explicit synchronization. Recently, using the AMT model in OpenMP has been shown to offer important advantages over its BSP model in the context of sparse solvers with the Deep Sparse framework. Deep Sparse automatically generates and expresses the entire computation as a task dependency graph and relies on OpenMP for the execution. Having seen the success of OpenMP's task parallelism on sparse solvers and the lack of work on evaluation of other AMT models in this area, we aim to discern how OpenMP, HPX, and region compare as well as what they offer over BSP models by providing a task parallel implementation of two sparse eigensolvers, Lanchos and LoPCG algorithms using the HPX and region, and an extensive performance evaluation. In all three frameworks, Deep Sparse, HPX, and Region, we define tasks based on the decomposition of the sparse matrices. The 2D partitioning of a matrix is known to expose a higher degree of parallelism than a 1D partitioning. Therefore, we adapt a 2D partitioning scheme where the tasks are defined based on the CSP representation of the sparse matrix. Note that it also dictates the decomposition of all other data structures involved, such as input and output vectors. The simple snippet shown includes three of the mostly used sparse solver kernels, an SPMM, a linear combination, and an inner product kernel. When executing the snippet for all frameworks, first SPMM operation is partitioned into tasks, as seen in the figure, where each task operates on a block of the matrix A and a block of X and Y. Then for the linear combination kernel, each task will operate on a block of Y, the entire matrix C, and a block of Q. And finally, for the inner product kernel, the task will compute the partial results from the multiplication of a block of Y transpose and a block of Q. A final task reduces the partial results on the output. Next. We will discuss how each framework achieves that. First one is deep sparse with two major components, a primitive conversion unit and task executor. The PCU on the left essentially provides a high-level front-end scientific application development. It reads blast-like function calls to create a dependency graph of the fine-grained task. Deep Sparse provides the OpenMP task-based implementation of all computational kernels it supports. As such, task executor on the right picks each node from the output of PCU one by one, and based on the task information, 
it spawns an OpenMP task. DiffSpans relies on OpenMP's default task scheduling algorithms for the execution of these tasks. HPX, on the other hand, obtains asynchronous parallelism through asynchronous function execution and future instances. A data flow object, meanwhile, triggers a predefined function when a set of futures become ready. Combining a data flow object with asynchronous execution provides a powerful mechanism for maintaining data dependencies and building an execution tree. We show HPX data flow model in this listing, which implements the given snippet. In line 20, for example, the i block of Q will be computed using the linear combination kernel once the i block of Y becomes available, that is, all the corresponding SPMM tasks are executed. Regent, another AMT model, extracts implicit data flow parallelism through two key abstractions, tasks and regions. The tasks are functions that are marked as eligible for parallel execution, and regions are the collections of structured objects that can be recursively partitioned. Tasks in regions are forced to describe how they interact with each region they take as argument by declaring privileges, such as read, write, or reduce to allow region to discover parallelism. In line 33, for example, we call the linear combination kernel on the partitioned Y and Q blocks, where the kernel declares a read privilege on the block of Y and a write privilege on the block of Q. Due to the read privilege on Y, all the writes must be performed on it first, meaning that the task will only become available after the execution of the corresponding SPMM tasks as an HPX. We evaluate the performance of these frameworks on two eigensolvers. First one is Lanchos, which is a relatively simple solver with SPMB, and the second one is LogTCG, an SPMM-based complex algorithm. Performance evaluations were done on two systems, Intel Broadwell and AMD Epic. Each Broadwell node has two 14-core Broadwell processors, whereas each Epic node has two 64-core AMD Epic processors. We utilize an entire node for our runs on both clusters. We compare the performance of DeepSpas, HPX, and Regent implementations with two library-based DSP versions, LibCSR and LibCSP. LibCSR is the implementation of the solvers using thread parallel Intel MKL library calls with CSR storage of the sparse matrix. LibCSP is the same as LibCSR, except the matrix is stored in the CSP format. We selected the matrices with varying sizes, sparsity patterns, and domains, mostly from the suite sparse. All presented performance data come from the solver iteration parts, excluding any IO and initialization parts. Performance data were averaged over 20 iterations for Lanchos and 10 iterations for LabPCG. And our comparison criteria are L1, L2, LLC misses, and execution times for both solvers and architectures. We share the results from the experiments where the optimal block size is employed, which depends on the solver, architecture, runtime system, and matrix type. In Lanchos, all three task parallel versions give decent speedups on both architectures as shown in the figure. On Broadwell, with the top subplot, DeepSpark, HPX, and Regent achieved up to 2.3, 4.3 and 2 times improvement over LibCSR although average speedups are somewhat modest. However, AMT models perform better when we go from a multi-core to a many-core architecture. For example, with EPIC, HPX achieves up to 9.9 .9 times speedup. However, Lanchos is a relatively simple algorithm. As such, scheduling decisions are simpler and there are fewer data reuse opportunities. As a result, we observe that the task parallel systems often lead to no improvement in cache misses. This can be seen in the figure where the cache misses comparison on EPIC for different Lanchos versions is shown. No framework achieves consistent reduction in cache misses on L1 level. Moreover, the improvement on L2 level might be attributed to the matrices being stored in the CSP format since libcsp, the other DSP version, yields similar improvements.
We attribute the speedups observed in Lanchos to the increased parallelism with tasking and reduced synchronization overheads as seen in the figure of the execution flow graph of one of the matrices for Leap CSR and Deep Spot. It shows that the task parallel systems can fill the gap resulting from load balances of SPMB with the succeeding tasks such as the XTY and dot product kernels in this example. Therefore, each iteration is completed not long after the execution of the last SPME task on Broadwell, providing the AMP approaches with a greater success. LoopCG, on the other hand, is a complex algorithm with several different kernel types, so its task graph may result in millions of tasks depending on the block size. As the top subplot shows on Broadwell, even with the task creation and execution overheads of the runtime systems, the achieved speedup numbers are 1.8 to 3 times speedup for deep spas, 1.5 to 4.4 times speedup for HPX, and 0 0.8 to 1.9 times speedup for Regent over Leap CSR. The AMP models improved their performance further on Epic, as shown in the bottom subplot of the figure. Since the PCG requires several vector operations using the same data structure, unlike in Lancho's, there are plenty of data reuse opportunities for vector chunks. In this figure, we show the cache misses comparison on Broadwell for all Love PCG versions. The task parallel versions show an outstanding performance on all cache levels. Moreover, AMP models achieve up to 99% L1 hits for Love PCG compared to the 85-90% to hit ratio of the BSP versions. As such, we conclude that the cache utilization is an important factor with log PCG due to data reuse opportunities, a factor that leads up to the speedup numbers observed. In conclusion, several AMP frameworks emerge as we move towards Exascale, and there is a lack of comparative studies in the context of SPAS solvers. We believe a fair evaluation of them would benefit readers in helping them prepare for Exascale, this is precisely the motivation for our evaluation. Future work will be in the direction of testing AMP models in a distributed memory environment using large-scale sparse solvers and graph analytics kernels. Also, please refer to our paper for the details of the implementations, our optimization efforts, and for the heuristic we provide to determine the ideal task granularity through the block size for each runtime system. Thank you for listening.